Welcome to sunny Koh Samui. Uh, by the end of this video, we will have explored this island together and you will know if this is the place to spend a great holiday for you. Also, we will be taking a look at some places for families. We're gonna have some tips for food, for sight, you name it. Let's go. This is Lamai, our hometown on the island. Mia totally approved of the beach right away. Lamai has something to offer for everyone. It's family friendly and there's some nightlife as well. Now we're heading to the other side of the island and we'll take you to the best lunch place, which is a bit of a hidden gem as well. So we asked our friend Anjar, who lives in Koh Samui, to recommend us a place for lunch with a great view and not too much crowds, preferably a little bit tropical. And he recommended us the Island View restaurant. It's in Talingam, it's the west coast of Koh Samui. I already took a little look around. This place is gorgeous. We've been in Lamai and the, the waves were, were pretty big. So not the best to go in with Mia. Over here, it's really calm, little waves. Mia having so much fun in the sea. Perfect. So we had a great lunch, now we'll head back to our Airbnb in Lamai because we want to freshen up and we want to give you a little tour. We did a lot of comparison between hotel rooms, Airbnbs, you name it, and we're so happy with it. This is our lovely villa in Lamai. It has three bedrooms, all with a private bathroom, and we even have our own pool. It's actually a bit too big for us since our plan was to come with more people. It's walking distance from the shops and the beach, but far enough not to hear the music at night. The hosts are super friendly and helpful. For a place like this, it's very affordable. Especially if you need multiple bedrooms. Check out the link in the description for the current prices. And one last big yummy plus, it's right next to the night market. So one of the things we really recommend, especially in Koh Samui, is to rent a car. We've been taking taxis because we have Mia and we can't really ride a motorbike here. So we've been taking taxis and we found out that like 20, 30 minute taxi rides will be 500, 600 baht. So you have to go and return, let's say 1000, 1200 baht in total. We've been renting this car for 1300 baht a day and it gives us so much freedom. Uh, the roads are perfect. They redone them uh, during COVID, so no worries about that. The traffic is, is quite fine in the morning, early morning, and in the end of the day, you have a bit of traffic like you do everywhere, but I think it's quite fine. Another tip is to rent it before you go, because we came and basically all companies didn't have cars anymore for the next two weeks. So we got lucky, but most places didn't have cars anymore. So if you're thinking about renting a car and you're serious about it, you can rent it beforehand. And otherwise, you have to hope you get lucky. But in general, renting a car, especially for families, I think is a great thing to do in Koh Samui. Next up, we're heading to one of the biggest attractions on the island. Can you guess what it is? Here it is, Big Buddha. What prayai in Kosamui? We're going to check it out. Okay. So the Big Buddha temple is fine for your toddler if they can already walk a little bit or climb a little bit. It's uh, it's fine uh, for Mia, but definitely is not 
friendly for your stroller. So we arrived here around 5 and I think it's perfect because it's close at 6.30 and in this time of the day there's not so many people and when we arrived it's cloudy, it had been raining the whole day and we also think that it's perfect because it's not warm. The main attraction of this temple is of course the Big Buddha. It's magnificent and beautiful. I think you would spend 30 minutes in this place. But not only that, I mean, look at this view. Pro tip, if you're not in the neighborhood of Fisherman's Village, combine the Big Buddha together with the Friday night Fisherman's Village night market. right place because they don't seem like fishermen's at all <laughs> so this is actually the fancy area in Koh Samui they have Friday night market we're curious to see so the night market in fishermen's village turned out to be one of the best we've ever visited it's pretty big and the best part is the food section, which is huge. I don't even think we saw everything. We had a delicious dinner and actually we got around to eating some bugs as well with our friends Andy and Tina. If you never got to try it, please do. It's not as bad as you think. Start off with a grasshopper and you're good. So this was such a fun night and we really recommend you to come here, walk around, see all the stuff they, they sell, maybe buy something, have a nice dinner, grab yourself a cocktail, guaranteed to have a good night. So we woke up and we wanted to have a nice a cup of coffee and a cake at a place with a nice view. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? Put the location in the description. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you heard Mia, she said lekker, lekker. That means uh, good or delicious in Dutch. So here is the tip. Lekker. <laughs> yeah, here is the tip for a coffee place for you, which is lekker or delicious. Amazon, this place has excellent coffee, good price, and it's everywhere in the country. So pro tip, if you finished drinking your coffee at this lovely Amazon cafe on the beach, Combine it with uh, visiting the God of War himself, Wang Ju. He's right across the street and he's pretty impressive. When you visit temples, usually you have to dress up uh, properly. So that means no short skirts, no short pants, tank tops not allowed. So what well, we say, buy one of those elephant pants, bring them with you, they're so you know, so thin they hardly take any space in your in your uh, bag. So if you come across any temples, because you also will come across temples even if you don't plan it, you can go inside with no problem. If you want to have a more local experience in Lamai, I suggest you go to the fresh food market. It's in the north of Lamai. It's a good place to have some lunch. They're making fish, they're making some meat, you can get fresh fruit. There's also some stalls with clothes and everything. It's a nice market to get a more local feel in this uh, still touristy place. So um, go for it. So I just bought some mint, gonna make tea, and some tomatoes for Mia, and chilies. 
<laughs> and everything cost me 35 baht or 1 euro so really happy Behind me is the beautiful red temple in Lamai. Um, it's Maha Puja today, so we already wanted to see this temple up close. And Maha Puja is a important day for Buddhists. It's once a month around full moon. So we hope to see some celebrations. And if not, we just admire this beautiful temple. So just outside of the Red Temple is another building and they have just started the rituals. Uh, the monks are leading it and uh, I'm not really sure but I think it's prayers, the singing. It gives it a really nice vibe to walk around here and hear the, the singing in the background. I don't think you can hear it right now because I'm a bit far away but I'll show you some video from inside as well that I just took and we are going to continue and walk down to the sea because this temple is at the sea and it gives us a really nice view as well I'm standing in central Samui. On my right side is a shopping mall and on the other side is the market. And I bought this special satay. It's chicken liver. <laughs> I like it. I I had it a lot as a child and um, I love it. And this is the best part of a chicken. It's chicken skin. Mm. It is so good because the um, skin has the most fat. It's probably not the healthiest, but it's really good. The best for the last. And this is chicken ass. This is the best meat because it's very tender. Hmm. I love it. My guilty pleasures. Did you like this video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and share this video with someone that you want to take to Koh Samui. I was going that far. <laughs> when do you expect to be down? <laughs> you, the team has split up. The child! The, the child is going away. <laughs> As you've probably already guessed by the view behind me, Koh Samui is an awesome place to spend a holiday. Whether it be you spending like a backpacking holiday or as a couple or with a family, I think Koh Samui has something to offer for everyone. 
so we want to wish you a lot of fun on your stay here and we will see you in the next one do you have any tips by the way leave them in the comments this way we help each other out to have the best holiday possible so thanks again and see you next time bye bye